What's up guys, so I'm just dropping in here on this first warm-up set, or first kind of warm-up slash working set before I hit 315 for a couple uh, sets. Lowering the volume on this exercise just gasses me too much to do other back and bicep work, but I'm gonna let you guys watch some more uh, live clips and not be copyrighted. Finishing up my first set with 315. No surprise here. Uh, I'm sure you guys can tell I'm not going to go for 20 reps. These all felt good and heavy. Uh, the speed and control, not the speed, the control off the floor was perfect. Um, my back is staying really, really tight. My problem with deadlifting is when I get into 90% or more of my max and I go to pull, my lower back and my abs uh, are kind of the weak link right now, which is really weird. But whatever, it happens. There's always a spot in your deadlift you can improve on. And right now for me, my lower back needs to catch up a little bit, but it will in due time, so no big deal. I'm gonna stop pushing the deadlift progress so hard since I'm getting closer to kind of where my limit is um, on snatch grip and on the regular conventional. But on Friday, I will be hitting some conventional, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully 405 doesn't feel too heavy like it did last time. But yeah, just got back from breakfast. It is Wednesday morning, and I'm gonna get this video uploaded um, before I go to the gym, I don't know, I guess I'll have to render it. So I'll get it uploaded today, maybe midday or something, but I'm just getting it, getting it all done now. But let's talk about this back workout and ended up starting with two sets of 315 and it felt really good. Um, like I said before, I want to lower the volume and kind of keep the weight and the intensity high, just not kill myself with those 20 rep sets because having my back workout follow that's kind of, kind of tiring. It wasn't so bad when I was doing 225, but with 275 and stuff, I'm just wiped so got a good amount of volume in this day on monday i ended up doing five sets with 120 on lat pull down um really trying to build strength on all these exercises but not trying to overdo it because i'm sure i can pull 150 but it's really not about the weight all the time as long as you're progressing um i'm actually more sore from this workout it's wednesday right now like i said and i'm sore as hell on my back still kind of in the center of my back and my lats which is rare but my whole back is still sore, kind of like I didn't recover, which is weird because I've been sleeping and eating great. But yeah, uh, this workout took it out of me. So here I'm getting some one-arm dumbbell rows in. I did a couple sets um, of 12 with 85 pounds. It's trying to work on kind of the evenness of my rowing. I have one side that pulls differently than the other, one shoulder that feels differently than the other. So it's all about getting some uni unilateral movements in when you can. So I hit some rows, hit some shrugs. Um, and then I hit some rear delts. For shrugs, I only did a couple sets here, and um, I actually did four sets, my bad. But kept it light, 75 pounds, nothing crazy. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for the back portion of the workout. I hit some rear delts here. 90 pounds for 15. I'm focusing more on my reps now. I'm not being as explosive, but being more controlled. I forget who I was watching. Probably, honestly, Alberto Nunez. Um, a lot of people will, you know, do really hard explosive reps and preach that that's the best for strength, which it might be. But I'm always going back between what's best for strength and what's best for growth. So if you're going through all your push workouts and pull workouts with explosive movements and getting stronger and never getting sore and kind of stalling on your weight progress, I feel like there's a lot left on the table as far as picking an exercise you can do controlled and really, really focus on the muscle. I feel a difference in soreness. So whether that's gonna make me get bigger or not, I'm not sure, but I feel like you always gotta attack it from both angles. So I think I said it in the last video, but I'm working on biceps here. They're not sore, surprisingly, but um, I ended up switching it up a little bit, lowering the weight and just sticking with one side at a time. So really trying to focus on my arms, but I don't wanna hurt my elbows or my tendons, so arms are just a weak point for me. I'm sure all of you guys out there have a muscle group that doesn't grow or respond that well to your training, so it's all about finding what works for you, staying injury free and increasing the volume. Not so sure about increasing the frequency. I don't know if I should be doing arms two or three times a week, or just maybe doing them once or twice a week with more intensity and more volume, but it's something I'm trying to figure out. I feel like it's different for 
not everyone, but I feel like some people are going to benefit from more frequency and some people might benefit from higher volume on some days because some people swear by hitting muscles three times a week and some people think you should just hit them once and recover, but you guys know how that goes. It's very, very different person to person opinion wise, but we're all trying to figure out what's optimal here. So finished up with some one arm um, hammer rope curls and did some abs. I haven't been hitting my abs too often lately because I've been crushing deads and bench and when I'm progressing on those, I don't really have the energy to, uh, to sit there and do abs, but I did get it in today. Three sets of cable crunches. Make sure you arch your back on the way up and curl it on the way down. Don't be using your hips. Your hip or your back angle should never be moving like this. I see bros in the gym doing it all the time when they'll start and they'll just push down and their back doesn't really move and they're just using their hip joint, which is totally cheating and you're making an ab exercise an ego lift, so please don't do that. Did a few sets here, side bends, something I don't recommend doing all the time, but you gotta hit your oblique sometimes, so get them in once a week maybe. But that's it guys, peace. Finals week, shit. So guys, just got home from the gym. The sales guy that came by on Saturday. Hooking me up with some faster internet. Cause here with AT&T, I get 18 megabytes down and that sucks cause it's like four or five megabytes up. I can barely stream YouTube videos at peak hours, like 5 p.m. But now I think they're gonna do 120 megabytes. Which is so epic. So let you guys know if it works or if I'm getting scammed. Yes, that upgrade. I used to get 18 on this. Fuck. Good morning, guys. Uh, slacking a little bit on getting these videos cranked out, but I hope you guys caught the uh, the vacuum video and the other video I did. But check this out. Oh, fuck. It's Wednesday morning. First sun we've had in about six days straight. You can still see it's wet outside because it was raining, but. Weather's been really weird down here lately. Since Sunday or Saturday, it hasn't stopped raining. So yeah, I'm recording on my phone really quick because my camera's dead, but I just wanted to get this footage in and I'm about to celebrate the sun by going to get some IHOP. Gonna keep studying a little bit, but it is the morning, so I'm probably gonna IHOP study, maybe do a little voiceover since I have put it off. But if you guys are watching this video, maybe you guys already watched the Wednesday video. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'll see you guys soon. I'll show you guys some food too. So that's coming up soon. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'm about to go down the plaza, hit UPS for shipping something out really quick. IHOP was alright. Denny's was way better than uh, this meal. At least last time I had Denny's. Still hungry, but it is what it is. Got to go train and get my day going. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, about to go home and do the commentary on the poll day, so hopefully I remembered it properly. But anyways, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this vid. I'll keep some more coming, but I've got two finals tomorrow. Statistics and Chemistry too, so it's time to get ready for that. I shouldn't even be vlogging, fuck. All right guys, peace.